Hi, this is Justin from HR Productions. In this video, I'm going to show you why you should avoid using video in PDF and what you can use instead that will actually consistently support video in the output. So here in InDesign, I have a video that I placed using File Place, just like I would with any of my artwork. And I've used an MP4 file because that is what's going to be consistent across different browsers, different operating systems, which most software is going to render uh, by default. You can certainly convert a video using Adobe Media Encoder to this format. Now I'm going to just go up to File and choose Export and I'll choose PDF and make sure that I select uh, the Adobe PDF Interactive versus the print option and I'll save it and you notice I get this warning I also received a warning like this when I opened the document it says that this contains media content and it may not have playback controls so this is something that's important to note once upon a time in the InDesign media panel you could set what your controller should look like um, you can't do that anymore uh, because it's no longer flash based so I'm just gonna leave everything as is I'm gonna make sure it includes the media there and I'll go ahead and export and it's gonna warn me again that there's a video in here and no controller will be displayed so I'll just go ahead and export and that will open it in Acrobat on my system and you'll notice that uh, the video doesn't have any playback controls I can't I don't even have an indication that it's video except when I hover over it it says click to activate so I'm gonna go ahead and click and then what it does is give me a warning It says this is disabled by default and I have to enable it. So already, if you're gonna send this to a potential client, this should be a red flag for you. My experience is people have trouble following instructions, especially detailed ones, let alone simple instructions. And so this creates a lot of friction in the playback experience already. This is just assuming that the person on the other end is opening this in Acrobat. So I'm gonna choose the options and say, trust this one time, and it'll let the video play. So now you can see what this looks like playing in Acrobat. Now this is already a huge improvement over how this used to be because this was Flash Player based, used to be embedded. When the Flash Player was basically killed, they took the Flash Player out of Acrobat. You wouldn't get any media playback like this. So this is an improvement over that. But the other challenge with PDF is that you don't know what people are going to open your PDF in because there are tons of applications now that can read PDFs. For instance, I often open PDFs in the browser. And so here in Chrome, I have the same document and uh, there's no video. I have the thumbnail and uh, I, can't, I can't do anything. I click on it, nothing happens. So there's absolutely no playback. The, the media is gone. At least I have the image. Now you might say, wait a minute, that's a web browser. It's not really a robust PDF reader. So let's look at another option. On Mac, a lot of times people will open PDFs with preview. What do we see in preview? There's absolutely nothing there, not even the uh, poster image for the video. So that's a basic reason why you should not count on exporting video in your PDF, even if it seems to be working for you in Acrobat. Because the best case scenario is that they figure out how to enable it in an Acrobat and uh, can see the video there. But you can see there are all kinds of scenarios where they just don't get to see the video and it doesn't make you look very good to your clients. So let's go back to InDesign and talk about what you should do instead. The simplest thing you could do is to use Publish Online. So you just go to File and choose Publish Online, and you can export your document using Publish Online. So let's take a look at what that looks like when you click Publish. Here's my Publish Online document in the browser. Um, it uh, actually seems to have the video, so I can, I can click Play and watch the video. The playback controls display one way. I don't have any control, any flexibility over how that appears, but at least the video works. And so this is a huge improvement over PDF, and I can share this URL with anybody. Now, there is one limitation. This URL is always going to look like this. It's always going to be on an Adobe server. So if you want to publish the content in a way that it can be read by anything, if you want to control what the player looks like, let's take a look at another solution. All right, back in InDesign, I have our product in5 installed and now with in5 you get an additional set of controls for video so let me actually go to the media panel which is part of InDesign it can be found uh, in window interactive 
this used to have a drop down for different playback skins if you wanted to have different versions of video controls. And they took this out because that was flash based. So you still have some useful things here. But what N5 does is add additional controls. If you go up to the N5 menu and down to interactive widgets and choose video, you see you get a whole bunch more options here. And we can actually choose a different controller skin. So for this one, I'm going to choose big play button, no controller. So that just gives the user the ability to initiate the video, but doesn't have all those other controls. And we can, of course, allow them to have all the controls. We could also hide all the controls and have it autoplay, and even have it like a background video. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and export with N5. And to do that, I'll just go up to N5 and choose the Easy Export Wizard. Save the document. And I'll just uh, treat this like a microsite and click next and say I want pixel perfect text and I'll just call this video and export and in 5 will go through all the page items transform them into HTML in this case it's also going to optimize the output and then when it's done I'm just gonna click open a browser so now I have this version this is on my local hard drive so I can copy these files and put them anywhere. I can put them on my own website. And I have a custom set of controls here. I have a big playback button that is indicating to the user that this is a video. And I can click it and play. And it works super easily. I didn't have to code. I just placed that in InDesign and exported it within five. So hopefully now you know why you should avoid video and PDF, and you know what else you can use going from InDesign. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a like on YouTube. And if you want to see more about the limitations of interactive PDF and what you can use instead, check out my other more comprehensive video on interactive PDF. And I hope to see you there or in another video soon. Thanks so much for watching.